Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Monica, Jorge, Carlos, Mayra, Jancy, and Edwin. How are you doing, guys? ¿Cómo están? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. And you? Good evening, good evening. Welcome. Teacher, how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Excellent, excellent. I am okay. I am okay. Thank you, thank you. Happy. It's good that. Sorry? It's good that. Yes. Let me tell you that it is raining over here. Está lloviendo muy fuerte acá. So it's it's kind of difficult to hear you. Let me see if I can uh, connect this my headphones, my earplugs with the uh, with the computer. Uh, give me a moment. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yes, 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 teacher. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I was telling you that it is raining over here, so it is a little hard to hear you. But I have here, I have this here, so I can hear you now. Welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining yeah. today's session. That's, uh, that, that's me. The, uh, uh, it's rain. The rain come to to that side. Where's the lado? I don't know. Early. Pronto. Maybe. <laughs> After. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, um, we have 10 people already. We are 21 or 19. Teacher, I can hear you. Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Are we are ready? And let me tell you that it still hurts when I smile. People not make me smile. People. Okay. It's possible, right? Okay? Anyway. But it's okay. Let me take attendance. Uh, today is the review of unit number two. You know, it, it is the last day of, uh, of. So that means we need to finish the platform. We have to finish the session number. And also, we have to continue working on the exam. Which is also in the session time. But let me show you before we start anything else. Take a look. I am sharing the platform with you guys. Uh, we need to have the unit number finished as well as the. We have to finish these two activities unit number two and then we. By today or tomorrow. And let me take a test. Ana Victoria Galán. Listen. Thank you, Ana, and welcome. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian David Ramirez. No. 
Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Elias Dimas Soriano. No. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Denise Alejandra Zúndiga. Present. Thank you, uh, Diana y Amilet Maravilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you, Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Marvin Jose Cortez Rodas. Present. Thank you, Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present. Thank you, Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. Present. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Milo. Okay. Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar. Verónica Lizeth Portillo. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. As you see, I was uh, Sandra Ives Mendoza. Sara Rachel Salazar. Veronica Alicia Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yancy Andrea Salon. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There are 15 people. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I want to thank. Let me tell you. I want to thank. Uh, Uh, Christian, Denise, let me see who else, Edwin, and Veronica for having a perfect uh, time in the classes. You have uh, like like 40% already of everything. That's good. Excellent. All right. I cannot smile. It, it hurts. It makes me cry. Hey, I feel you're not It's hard. Okay, people. As you know, every every uh review of unit we have a lot of other. But let me begin uh with the one. All right, look, sorry. Uh, as you know, this is today. Today is day number 10 or class number 10 or session. And it's August 22nd, right? And we're gonna start, gonna start with the book. I want you guys to go on to page number, show you here. The page we're going to work on is page 27. So guys, open your books to page 27. On that page, we're going to find this information. Let me know. Let me know. Are you there? Yes, teacher. I see. Yes, teacher. Okay, we bien, we bien. Thank you, thank you. The indication says, read the following article about giving instructions to staff. Check true or false for the items below. We're gonna read the uh, four items. One, two, three, and four. And down here we have five sentences, which we're gonna decide if they are true or false. Yes, okay. 
And let me read the first one. People, if you have any questions about the vocabulary, let me know. I think there's there are plenty of words here that you might not know. Let me read this to you, the first paragraph. Okay, here we go. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whilst, as I put it, Okay, whilst most people in your uh, your office or business will be intuitive or switched on, they are not mind readers. And imperative when delivering clear instructions is not to assume the recipe knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take a few seconds to uh, seconds more to explain the details. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the first paragraph? Teacher, what is assumption? Assumption? Yes. Uh, it's like a uh, conjectura in español. Asunción, predicción, conjetura. Okay. Es como asumir. Thanks. Yes. What else? Uh, don't be the fool. I'm sorry? Don't be the fool. Fool. E-F-O-O-L. Yes. Oh, fool. Yeah. Uh, it's like... Porque así lo poco suave. Porque ingenuo. Ya me lo pongo ingenuo. Ok. Torpe, torpe hoy. Realmente significa. Y similar for April Fool. I'm sorry. Y similar for April Fool. Ah, uh, exactly, exactly, yes. Ah, ok. Es la palabra, palabra que se usa. Okay. Thank More you. questions? No? We're good? Estamos bien? Uh, I'm sorry? Industry and pronoun. Okay. Ah, okay. acronymous. Acronymous. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Um, I would like to know the meaning of while. This one. Yes. That one? One. Yes. Okay. It is while. You want to add a menu. This is while. I don't put it in the chat. Yes. While. It's the same as while. But whilst it's not really, it's uh, old fashioned. Whilst. Yes. Mientras. Teacher, with, with is like a mientras. I'm no. sorry? Mientras. Sí, sí. With. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yes. Acá está, miren. Acá está abajo. Okay. Whist. Wild. The, pro the pronunciation is whist. No, wild. Wild. What? Wild. Wild. Con la S, con la L, ahí. Wild. Wild. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. you got it. You got it. Okay. Wild. Okay. What else? More questions?
more questions? No? We're good. Estamos bien? Yes, yes, yes. You know what switch tone is? Switch tone. No? You say, where is it? Uh, while people, most people in your office or business will be intuitive or and switch tone. And switch tone. Switch tone, it means uh, that this person knows everything. Estar al tanto. Focus. Estar al, no, estar al tanto. Ajá. Poner sí. despierto. Enfocado. Ajá, exacto. Estar buzo. Ajá, exacto. Es like estar buzo. Ah, ok. Estar es switch tone. Atento. Exacto, exacto. Ok. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a list of acronyms later on. You know what? Damos un listado de acronyms. A leer a través. Yeah. I have over here uh, abbreviations and acronyms. As you can see. Latin Latin abbreviations we have uh, A B. Okay, in the year of our A M before midday, C B which is uh, curriculum vitae. For example, it's this one E E G. All right, as for example, etc. Another another case, etc. E I A I A means in other words, palabra, or that is, PM, you know, it's in the afternoon or after, after midday. Abbreviations related to names. DR, doctor. HON stands for honorable. MR stands for mister. This one, uh, MRS stands for business. And then we have MS, which stands for this. PROF stands for a professor. SR or JR stands for senior or junior. And we have uh, general abbreviations for. Excuse me. For Avenue, we have A, B, E. For Department, we have B, E, B, E, E, P, T. For Established, we have E, S, D. For Big Theater, F, F, I, G. For Hours, we have H, R, S. And then we have Number, N, O. And Versus, and B, S. We have abbreviations of grammar. Abbreviation A double B and R. Adjective, it's uh, A D J. Adverb stands, uh, well, A D V stands for adverb. O B J stands for objective. P R E P stands for preposition. P L stands for plural. S I N G stands for singular. And uh, let me see. Well, those are some abbreviations. Then we have some uh, acronyms that we have over here. Just let me go back here. Do not forget this the, that abbreviations contain a period. Okay. Abbreviations contain a period. Tienen un punto. Observen acá, un punto. Que tienen un puntito. Ya sea en medio o al final, tienen un punto todos. Okay. Eso se llaman abreviaciones.
Hola, hola, ¿me escuchas? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Teacher. yes. yes. yes teacher, I can hear you. Okay. Yes. All right. I was telling you that the abbreviations need a period. Okay. Requiere un puntito. Acá está. Yes. Except this one. Versus doesn't require a period. Yes. All right. And the acronyms do not require any periods. The acronym is a group of words. Okay. It's a group of words. And we use the first word of the first letter, sorry, the first letter of every word. As you can see, the ATM stands for Automatic Teller Machine. Okay. Automatic, you know, Teller Machine. It's the ATM. Business pro Process Outsourcing. Okay. BPO. I do not know how to read this, to be honest. Okay. You see it there. All right. These ones are not really, really uh, that common. PC, you know, personal computer, HR, human resources, VIP, very important person, uh, www, World Wide Web. Acronyms of name. Okay, we have some examples here. These ones are, are very, very uh, formal. And uh, let me show you another list here of acronyms. These are very, very common acronyms that we use. Look, you know what LOL is. We have LOL over here, laugh out loud. OMG, oh my God. Let me tell you again. Acronyms do not take a period, okay? No llevan un punto los, los acrónimos, okay? Yes. Solo llevan la primera letra de cada palabra, okay? Beating L, O, L, L, the laugh, O, the out, y la última L, the loud. OMG, you know, oh my God. I L Y, I love you. Okay, L M A O. Esta que está acá la he borrado porque no. Oh. Okay, aquí la pondré en el chat. Okay. Son bien comunes esos acrónimos. Y lo colocaron en el chat. Okay, then we have a TTYN, talk to you never. <laughs> All right. FBO, Facebook official. TTYS, talk to you soon. HMB, hit me back. Okay, como escríbeme, escríbeme después o, o contáctame después. SFW, safe work work. Okay, this one, no. Okay, that one is, it, it's bad. ASL, H, sets and location. AFAIK, as far as I know. Okay, hasta donde se. As far as I know, hasta donde se. Okay. IMHO, in my humble opinion. Okay. IRR, sorry. IRL, in real life. ISO. In search of, yes, just kidding means JK, just kidding. LA, number eight, you see. LHR later. POV is very common in social media. It means point of view. Okay, como punto de vista. Yes. RBTL, read between the lines. RT, real time, BTW, uh, this one is very common as well. BTW, by the way, por cierto. CTN, can talk now. CYE, check your email. DL, download. ETA, estimate, estimated time of arrival. Yes, and we have a long list right here. Let me continue reading them. FWIW for what is worth or for what's worth. Yes. FYI for your information. It's an F -O -F -I -F -I. 
GG, good game. GJ, good job. Not up here. Okay, GL, good luck. GRH, great. GTG, got, got to go. I have to go. Okay, you know GMV, got my vote. HTH, hope this helps. OT, off topic. PC, personal computer. PLS, please. POS, parent over shoulder. PPL, people. TXT, text. BRB, be right back. B4N, bye for now. BCNU, BCNU, BFF, best friend forever. TY, thank you. W slash E, whatever. WH is weight. XOXO, hugs and kisses. Uh, YY. J, uh, sorry, Y O L Y, you only live once. Y N not, well, Y N T, why not? Y W, you're well, sorry, you're welcome. I'm sleeping. M M B, message me back. M S H, message. N C, no comments. Noob newbie, GMV got my vote again. We got it over here, I think. And the last one, oh, that's one is repeated too, it's somewhat over there, All right? These are the most common acronyms that we use in English. Remember, the acronym is a group of words, and we use the first letter of each word. All right. Do you have any questions about the acronyms? It's difficult to know them all. I know, I know. It's difficult to know them. Yes. Some questions? No? No, we're good? It's a lot of abbreviations. Acronyms, acronyms. Acronyms? Yes, acronyms. Abbreviations, abbreviations. Sorry, mate. Word. Okay, solo una palabra. Solo una palabra. Acá está. Solo es una palabra, doctor, DR. Ok. Acrónimo no, son dos o tres palabras. ¿Observen? ATM, Automatic Teller Machine. Yes. Okay. Esa es la diferencia. A ver, una palabra. Acrónimo son dos o tres. Yes, questions? Se la voy a compartir. Please, teacher. El grupo de, de el grupo de Twitter. Twitter. No, no, they should use, they should use. ¿Eh? El grupo de Twitter. Yo sé, I lo voy a compartir al grupo de Twitter. Sí, pero es que broma, broma. <laughs> Ahí está. Eso lo compartir en el grupo de Twitter. Those are the most common acronyms that we have and abbreviations that we have in English. The reason why I show you that information is because they mention acronyms here. And I think it is good to know about a little bit about acronyms and abbreviations. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm going to read this paragraph again, and then I'm going to choose three or three people to help me read or practice this paragraph. All right. Yes. Don't assume they know what you mean. Listen carefully. I'm going to read slowly. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whilst most people in your office or business will be intuitive, 
and switch tone, they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is not to assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from, sorry, and this can be from anything, for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. I need a volunteer to read this paragraph. Me, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Excellent. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what to say. That a subtraction is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool. That assume people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch up. Switch on. They are not my readers and imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean and this can be for anything for industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the detail. Okay. Remember, this word is is uh, it's misspelled. It's not whist. It's this one. It's whilst, whilst, whilst. Whilst. Con L, con L. Why? Whilst, whilst. Whilst. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. I need another person to read the same paragraph or the same, uh, uh, yes, the same paragraph. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Carlos, ¿en quién más dijo? <clears throat> and me teacher. Okay. Andy and Carlos. Primero Carlos, después Andy. Luego seguimos con el segundo. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Carlos, go ahead. Practice. Okay. Um, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. They say that assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Whilst most people in your office or business will be intu intuitive and switch it on. They are no mean readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction is to not assume the recipient knows what you mean and this can be you or anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organization. It will, it will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. 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 De okay. details. Yes, yes. Thank you, Carlos. Excellent. Andy, go ahead. We're home. And what is the chair? Excuse me. I'm what sorry? part? What the part? Number one, number one, the same one. The number one, and that's the principio. Yes, please. Uh, okay. You know what this says? That assumption, assumption is the mother of, of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business, will be intuitive and intuitive 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 and switches and switches on they are mean readers and imperative when delivering clear instruction is not assume the recipient knows what you mean and this can be a before any and anything for industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organization. I will only take you a few seconds more, more to explain the details. The details, the details. Details. Right. Yes. Thank you very much, everyone, for reading. Let's continue with the second one. 
it says there, be clear and specific. Everyone who loves a waffle, dripping in maple, a syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation, and especially not in an email or when it is a set, set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions, that will be a waste of time. And to be honest, Dave, switch off, uh, switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter up and would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the, the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I think you have questions about this one that are words that you might not know. Let me know, people. Flowery. This one. ¿Cómo les molesta esta palabra en español? Es cuando dice, en vez de hacer las instrucciones demasiado adornadas, o oh, como les podría explicar como flower is como florecido lleno de flores detallista o detalle no sé Demas, como demasiado cargada de información innecesaria ah uh -huh. okay. Okay. ok rumble también rumble on es como divagar rumble on divagar ah ok yes Ramble on. Ramble on, yes. Mira, aquí le voy a mostrar la palabra que usted dice. ¿Cuál era? Flowery, right? Floreado, dice, mira. Yes. But it's when, when you have information that is not necessary. Okay, when you have information that is not necessary. Yes. And ramble on, I tell you that what, what it is. Ramble. <laughs> oh, okay. Ramble on. There you go. Look. When you're talking about nonsense, like including information that is not necessary, leave that in, or talk a lot about something, okay, and you're not straight or you don't go straight to the point. Let's go back here. More questions about the, the, the paragraph? Um, the, the word switch, switch off is the opposite of switch, switch. Exactly, off. exactly. You are right. Yes, yes. Like switch on is when you pay attention to something or you are always, always paying attention to everything happening. And switch off is when you uh, lose attention. Okay, or you, when you lose interest. Yeah, that is switch off, yes. What else? Grumbly. Which one? Grumbly. Esta que está acá? Sí. Rumble on. Divagar. Divagar. Yes. What else? ¿Qué más? Put it out. What's the meaning? Butter it, butter it up. Butter mantequilla. Butter it up es llenado de mantequilla todo. Es una metáfora, ¿ok? Es una metáfora. Es como llenar algo de información que no es necesaria. Yes. Look, I prefer, personally, I prefer not to butter it up. ¿Ok? Prefiero no rellenarlo de información, ¿ok? And look, and would rather go straight to be the point. E ir directo al punto. Okay. Es como rellenar algo de, de información que no es necesaria. Yes. That's what butter it up is. Or butter up. What else?
Are we good? People, I can't smile now. Look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's difficult. You know, it's more difficult when I'm working at the school because I have to like raise my voice and I have to open my mouth even more. Yes. At the school, I have a hard time. With you, it's it's kind of easy. <laughs> yes. All right, all right. Yes. Let me read again. This time I will do it slowly for you guys to listen to how it goes with the pronunciation. Listen carefully, all right? Don't switch off. <laughs> all right. Everyone loves a waffle. Ripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes a, likes a waffle in a conversation, and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions, that will be a waste of time of your time. And to be honest, they either switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and would rather get straight to be the point on the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. I need a volunteer. Maybe, sir. Okay, thank you. But give me a second. Let me get some water. Hold on, hold on. Seconds. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and, es and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. While you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions. That will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, specific and concise. Personally, I prefer not to body it up and would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be actionized or delivered rather than making the instructions to Flowery, which will only confuse. Thank you, thank you. Actioned with D, with D at the end. Actioned. All Action. right. Excellent, excellent. Well done, well done. Thank you, Denise. I need another volunteer. Yes, sir. Okay, Paola, go ahead. Thank you, Paola. Be clear and specific. Everyone knows a waffle. Dripping a maple syrup, please. But no one's like waffle in conversation, and especially especially not in an email or when it is a set of instruction. While you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions, that will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up I would rather get the straight to be the point on what needs to be, to be actionate or delivered, rather than making the instructions to flowery, which will only confuse. Excellent, excellent. Well done, Paola. Thank you, thank you. All right, one more person. Uno más. Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Edwin, excellent. Go ahead. Uh, be clear and specific. Everyone does. And uh, raping in my share up please place. Uh, but no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in a email or when it is set of instruction. Whilst you don't want to ramble on in your setting of instruction, that would be a waste 
of your time. And to be honest, they switch up uh, after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific and concise. Personally, I prefer not to put it up and would rather get straight to be the point on what needs to be action, actioned or delivered, uh, rather than making the instruction to flower it, which will only confuse. Excellent, Edwin. Thank you, Edwin, for your participation. All right, let's continue with the third one. Let me put my earphones on again as the rain is back. Me teacher, give time friends. Wait, Sara, wait, wait. I read. Sara preguntaba. Sí. Estamos leyendo. Yes. Entonces, ¿puedo leer? Okay, excellent. Wow. Amazing. Go ahead. Yes. Give time frame. Yes. Okay, wait. Let, let me read it. Let me read it. Primero leo yo, después leo usted. Ok. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver. Number three, people. Number three. Give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is in the next couple of hours, get your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious serious implications in any business or project. All right, wait. Are there any questions about this paragraph? What is primates? Frames. People, what is frame? I guess other kids can pick up frame. Frames. It's like a period determinado, un tiempo determinado. Yes, tiempo determinado is a time frame. When when uh when your bosses or your superiors give you specific time to finish something. That's a time frame. And deadline? What's a deadline? Do you know? No. I guess I it. Sorry? No fecha limite. Exactly. The deadline, the deadline is the last day to deliver something or to turn in something. Deadline, the last day. Time frame is the time specifically given to complete a task. What else? What else? More questions? No, Toya? No, Okay, we we'll get, we we'll get. The yeah, rain is over. Uh, let me see. Me escuchan? Me escuchan? Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Let me, let me read again. This time I will do it slowly for you guys to listen. Give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next is in the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed considered it to be in the in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Okay, there you go. Sara, go ahead. Okay, time friends. Do not confuse matter by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as some might be very different from your class. 
if you think soon in the next couple of hours, yet, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be a, in a few days that this communicator is going to have serious implication, implication in any boost business implication. Come implication implication in any business or project. Okay, excellent, Sara. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. I need another person. Yes. Okay, we have Veronica y quien más dijo? Me. Okay, Veronica and then Raquel. Thank you, thank you, guys. Okay. In Thai, from, from. Don't confuse matters be, by not being specific with your time frames um that line what you consider as a song might be very different for your college if you if you think some soon sorry is the next couple of hours if your staff who you have instructed considered it to be in a few days, then these com communi communications is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Okay, Veronica, thank you for reading. Excellent, excellent. Well done, well done. Sara, go ahead. Sorry, uh, Raquel. Lo mismo dice Sara, eh, Raquel también. No, Raquel. Raquel. <laughs> Okay. okay. Give time, friends. Do not confuse the mother matter. Be not being specific with your time, friends, and Adeline. What deadline. deadline? What you consider as soon might be might be very different from your college. Colleagues. If colleagues. You, colleagues. If you didn't soon is the next couple of of ours, just your staff who you have instructor instructed consider consider it if to be in a few days then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, thank you, Raquel, for reading. Very good, very good. The last one, people, number four. It says there, give examples. Let me read. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they, or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help add, or to add, this will help to add clarity to your, your, not you, to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Yes. I think we're good over here with the vocabulary, but do you have any questions? Whenever. Whenever. Cuando sea posible. Whenever possible. Cuando sea posible. Yes. Can you can you repeat the pronunciation words clarity? Clarity. 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 Yes, you can also say clarity, clarity, no problem. Clarity, clarity or clarity. Yes. What else? What is carried out? No? Yes, exactly. Llevar a cabo. Realizar, llevar a cabo. Efectuar. Yes. 
La pronunciation is carried out. Pueden combinar esa D al final con el, la, con el out. Carried out. It's carried out. More questions? No. Okay. Let me read again slowly this time. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Okay, do you have, well, no, no I have, uh, do I have any participants or any volunteers? Me teacher. Okay, Ismael, go ahead, excellent. Give examples. Whenever possible, make sure to give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Ismael. Very good, very good. Another person. Another person, hello. Hello. Me again? Okay, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Give examples whenever possible. Make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help for a clearer picture of what of what is, is you mean and why. Thank you, thank you, Paola, for reading again. The rain is bad. Do you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Excellent, all right. Uh, let me choose people directly, since I, I'm not getting any volunteers. I'm going to directly. Let me try, Marvin, go ahead. Okay, uh, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help for a clear picture of what is you mean in want. Amazing, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Thank you everyone for your participation. Now, let me make this smaller. Okay. Now you can see, well, now you cannot see all of them. All right. Now we're going to continue with the second part of the instruction. It says here, look, check through all forms, check through all forms for the item below. We're gonna go down here. And we have five items. We're going to read the items and we're going to choose if the item is true or false. Let me give you from three to four minutes. Go ahead, guys. Let's work on this individually. Read the item and tell me or mention if it is true or false. Three minutes. I think it's that, that is enough. Teacher is only answer yes or not. True or false. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yes, true or false.
the rain is over. Guys, are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes. No teacher. Okay, no. All right. Give me one minute. Okay, I'm going to give you one more minute. Okay, we are ready. Let's see, the first one, I'm going to choose a person, Anna. Read number one. According to the article, it is fine to make assumptions that uh, campus is, and the number one, according to the article, it is fine to make assumptions it is mm -hmm. false. Yeah. People, do you agree with Anna? Yes, teacher. Okay. According to the article, it is fine to make assumptions. It is false. Even the title in number one says, don't make assumptions. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, for reading. Carlos Eliezer, can you read the second one? It is important to go with train to the point to be clear. And in my opinion is true. 
Okay. People, do you agree with Carlos? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, I agree with Carlos. It is, it is important to go straight to the point to be clear. It is true. Yes, thank you, Carlos, for reading. Let me continue with, uh, let me see. Diana? Okay, so people we did confuse with the direction is we use too many words. It's true. Okay, it says the air well, let me put it over here. True. Guys, do you agree with Diana? Yes. Okay, people will get confused with the directions if we if we use too many words. Jorge, can you read number four? Sure, teacher. Thank you. Well, to avoid misunderstandings. <laughs> misunderstandings. One should be clear in times frames. It's come true. Okay, let me write it down. True. People, do you agree with Jorge? Yes, yes. Yes, okay, yes. To avoid misunderstandings, one should be very clear in time frames. The last one, let me see. Sara, read the last one. It is fine to make a mistake. Later, we can show example. For okay, miss false. Okay, false. False. Vamos a ver. false. It is fine if, it, if the employees make a mistake. Later, we can show examples. People, do you agree with Sara? Yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Now we have completed this activity. We're gonna go over here. Let me show you. Okay, and let me give you a quick review about there is and there are in affirmatives, negatives, and questions. Remember, we use there is and there are to introduce or to show the existence of a noun. The noun is an object, person, animal, food, etc. So we use there is and there are to show that something exists or to introduce that something exists. Yes. And look, we have affirmative, negative, and questions. Let me help you out. Let me give you a quick review. Yes. There is a ball. Okay, observe it. There is a ball on the floor. ¿Qué significa ball? ¿Alguien sabe? O se recuerdan? Yes. Sorry? Floor. Floor. No, el, el tazón, tazón. Ajá, tazón. Ah, bowl. Yes. O plato hondo. Yes, exactly. O, o comidera para, para, para gatos o, o perros. Okay. Yes. All right. Observing. I am, I am talking about one object, okay? That means that we use there is to talk or to mention one object, one person, one animal, one place, etc. right? Let me give you another one. There is a girl sitting on the park bench. Park bench, banca, la, la banca del, del parque. 
There is a girl sitting on the park bench. Okay, look. Hay una chica o una niña sentada en la banca del parque. Okay. Observen, I am talking about one person. Okay. Hablo de una persona. I'm talking about one person. So we use their is to talk about one thing, one noun. Yes. All right. Look, there are there are 21 students in my class. There are 21 students in my class. Hay 21 alumnos o estudiantes en mi clase. Okay. Yes. Well, actually, minus two, minus two will be nineteen. So, se fueron dos. Sure. Yes. In the second sentence, or uh, example, sería eh, la chica se está sentando. Yes. Ah, okay. Sí, recuerden que este sitting no es sentando. Sitting significa sentado. Por ejemplo, digo, I am sitting, I am sitting on the couch. Estoy sentado en el sofá. No sentando, ¿ok? Aplica para el verbo sentar y pararse, ¿ok? Es como estoy parando, ¿ok? Estoy parado sería. I am y sentando no existe. En no, no. Okay. Quizás si está, si está, va en cámara lenta. Hey, miren. I am sitting down. Estoy sentando. Mm, okay. Pero como es una, una acción muy rápida, no decimos que estoy sentando. Y de sentado en este caso. Aplica también para el verbo stand. Acá está. Standing. Que es parando. Parando, ¿verdad? Sería parado en este caso. I am standing. I am standing in front of the door. Estoy parado en frente de la puerta. Yes. All right. Let's go back to this one. There are 19 students in my class. Observing students. 19. So we use there are to mention two or more persons, animals, objects, or places. Excuse me. There are many laptops in my workplace. There are many laptops in my workplace. Hay muchas laptops en mi trabajo, ¿ok? Si mm -hmm. mi casa hay, hay un montón, hay unas 100 quizás. Un montón, ¿ok? So that is the affirmative form, ¿ok? That is the affirmative form with there is and there are. Remember, there is is for one object, for one animal, one person, or one place. And there are is the opposite or plural for more than one object, okay? Negative form. Let's use the same examples. There is not a bowl on the floor. Okay, there is not a bowl on the floor. No hay un tazón sobre el piso, okay? Observen, usamos el not. Not. Yes. The other one will be, like, will be like this. There is not, there isn't, contractado. There isn't a girl There isn't a girl sitting on the park bench. No hay una chica sentada en la silla del parque o en la banca del parque. Ok, no hay. There isn't. There isn't. Ahí está. There isn't. With R sería there. Can you help me? There. Hello. There aren't. Uh -huh. There aren't, thank you, Paola. There aren't 19 students in my class. There aren't 19 students in my class. The other one will be like, will be like this. There are not, are not. 
There are not many laptops in my workplace. No hay muchos laptops en mi lugar de trabajo. Y tengo dislexia. There you go. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Ahora, veamos el, las preguntas. Con respecto a preguntas, cambiaríamos el orden. Ok, pero ahora, preguntas, questions. Question? Is there, is there a ball on the floor? Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, I was trying to. Okay, yes. Sería, is there a ball on the floor? Yes, is there a ball on the floor? The other one would, would go like this. Is there a girl sitting on the park? Is there a girl sitting on the park bench? You can answer the question by saying yes, there is, or no, there aren't. Yes, there is. No, there aren't. Excuse me. The other ones. Are there 19 students in your class? Or are there many laptops in your workplace? You can say yes, there are, or you can say no, there aren't, or no, there are not. I don't want it aren't. Okay, and this is how we use there is and there are in the affirmative, negative, and the questions. Questions, preguntas. In the in the singular questions, the 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 answer not no debería ser there isn't. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. ¿Por qué puse aren't? <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> thank you. What thank happened you. here? I don't know. I don't know what happened. The breaker. Cero, the brackets. Cero. cero para mí. Póngale cero. Ya, páseme, sí. piche. Póngame diez. Tiro. Yes. Ok. Thank you, Paola. Excellent, excellent. All right. More questions. No, don't make me laugh. Mm. No questions? Ok. Muy bien, muy bien. Seguimos. Goodbye. Observen. Ok, saben los verbos de, de que, que se usa para reglas. He agregado acá send and share. Enviar y compartir. Ok. Veamos acá. We use uh, it is not allowed. Bueno, be not. Be not allowed. Sería be not allowed. We use be allowed to with all subjects. Oh, sorry. We use it is not allowed when we want to express rules, prohibition that a company has established. We can say, I am not allowed to, you are not allowed to, she is not allowed to, he is not allowed to, it is not allowed to, we are not allowed to, and they are not allowed. De hecho, en la actividad que aparece en la plataforma, aparece otro que está acá. Okay. Sí, aquí aparece. El tema del libro es este que está acá arriba. But the platform, uh, no sé por qué. <ríe> Sale esto. Ok. Yes. Recuerden, se, usan, se usa para prohibiciones o reglas que hay en una compañía y significa no está permitido o no se permite. Ok. Let's take a look at some examples. 
where are my examples? Yeah, that's that. Observing, it is not allowed to sit down while teaching. Okay, no está permitido sentarse cuando o mientras estoy en clases. Okay, yes. I was working, let me tell you people, I was working in this company and they did not allow me or they were uh, sitting, sitting down was not allowed. Okay, no podía sentarme. Pasaba ocho horas parado sin sentarme. Bad, bad. It is not allowed to use third party materials. In my case, I'm not allowed to use third party material because they might take my video down from YouTube. It is not allowed to invade others' offices. It is not allowed to gossip around the company. It is not allowed to enter the production area with no gear. La área sin, sin, sin tilde, okay? It is not allowed to share information without any authorization. Okay, there you go. ¿Qué significa gear? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa gear? Es como el equipo, un traje especial, o sea, casco, un chaleco, pantalones, botas, guantes, uh, tapones en los oídos, muchas cosas. That's gear. What is gossip? It's mad. Yes. What you guys like? <laughs> what lady, what lady, what lady? What, what, like? what is gossip? Teacher, huh? sorry. Gossip. Gossip, gossip, gossip is, is uh is the best women's profession. Not, that is true. <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> you are a liar. Take it easy, take it easy, people. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Relax. Significa uh chismear, okay? Chambrear. Ah, okay. That is gossip, yes. Right. Okay, muy bien. Thank you, thank you. Let's continue. Let's go back to the B O O K. Okay, we're back here. All right. Extra grammar practice. Fill in the blanks using there is and there are. But we only have questions here. I do not think so. We have to use uh there are three examples one number four five and six no no never mind never mind go ahead i'm gonna give you three minutes tres minutos para hacer esta parte usando there is if there are to make the questions go go
Tals, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's begin. Number one, who can uh, read number one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Ladies, ladies, ladies first. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Is there any paper in the printer? Okay, repeat it. Is there any paper in the printers? Oops. Is there, exactly, is there any printer? Okay, sorry. Is there any paper in the printer? Yes, exactly. Yes, thank you, thank you. Carlos, go ahead, the second one. Are there any com computers available? Available. Are there, exactly. Are there any computers available? Yes, thank you, thank you. Another one, number three, another volunteer. Is okay. there enough personal at your company? Okay, is there, sorry, is there enough personnel at your company or are there? What do you think? Are there, because personal is more, Person. <laughs> the singular, the singular form is staff. The person is like the people. It's a plural form, yes. All right. So let's see. Well, actually, I've heard both. I put out ambos. Pero miren, no cabio. <laughs> no cupo. Espere, me lo voy a mover acá. Para que se vean ambos. Yo he escuchado a ambos. Ok. Yes. Let's leave it like that. Number four. Another volunteer. Many conference rooms in your workplace. Are there? Leala, Leala. Are there many conference rooms in your workplace? Okay, are there many conference room, rooms in your workplace? Yes. Number five, go ahead. Is there much light in your workplace? Okay, is there much light? Is there is there much light in your workplace? Yes, okay. Number six. Are there many things to do every day? Okay, are there many things to do every day? Are there many things to do every day? All right, and the last one, the last one, number seven. Are there two places to have a break? Okay, the last one will be are there are there good places to have a break okay we got it we got it thank you everyone for your participation we have a second part down here that we need to finish okay there you go you have the, the, the example here number part number two yeah it's number one number one okay we'll be number one number two three Number three, unscramble the words to create sentences. Okay, this one is with be allowed to or it is not allowed to. Creo que sería be not allowed to. Okay, iniciemos. I'm going to give you five minutes. One minute per sentence. Okay, vamos a ordenarlas todas. Okay, go ahead, go ahead.
करती है Guys, are you ready? Give me one second, please. Okay, don't worry, don't worry.
Guys, are you ready now? Yes, teacher. What about the rest? Están listos? Hello? Yes. Let's go, teacher. Okay. Very good. Let's start. Carlos Eliezer, number one. Okay, teacher. Are not allow you to wear clothes formal. Repeat. Are not allow you to wear clothes informal. Mm. No. <laughs> you you are not allowing to wear clothes. There you go, there you go. You you are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Yes. You are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Yes. All right. Thank you, thank you. Let me choose another person. Denise, can you uh go with the with the second one? Uh, yes. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Okay, there you go. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Yes. Employees are not allowed to smoke. Smoke. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Let me see. Marvin, read number three. Okay. It's not allowed to bring children. There you go. Excellent. It is not allowed to bring children. Okay, it is not allowed to bring children. Jorge, can you read number four? Yes, teacher. Thank you. We are not allowed to extend our lunch time. Okay, we are not to extend our lunch time. Okay, we are not allowed to extend our lunch time. The last one, Andy, go ahead. And he's sleeping. <laughs> okay, Raquel Elizabeth. Yes. The last one, the última. Are not allowed late check-in people. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Diana, do you have it? No. Are not allowed to step in a lot of the people. <laughs> no. No. Edwin. No. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, are, are not allowed to late check in people? No. no. Teacher, I think people are not allowed, allowed uh -huh. to check late. Yes, yes, exactly. Thank you, Sara. There you go. It will be like this. Look.
Yes, people are not allowed to check in. Sorry, late, Fanta. Late. People are not allowed to check in late. Yes. All right, there you go. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. I'm going to guide guide you through the activities that we have in the plan. We have 10 minutes. I'm going to show you or read the instructions uh, for every activity on the platform for the ones that have not finished yet. Yes. Today we need Give me a second. Ismael, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, can you can you stay after class? Well, it is your turn today to stay after class. Oh, sure, sure. Yes, thank you, thank you. Do not go, okay? Okay. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Vamos a ver. Okay, I can see that most of you, most of you have work have worked on the platform. Uh but let me guide you through each activity. In that way, you will not have uh, any questions later on. If you do have any questions later on, no problem. I will help you out. In the first activity, uh, we have to wait now. Activity number six. Sorry, I, it's already completed over here. We did this one yesterday. On the activity number seven, it says their instructions use the words in parentheses to complete the questions. Vamos a leer acá entre are there and is there to complete the question. Okay. Remember, if if the exercise is incorrect, you can try to do it again, or you can try again. Uh in order for you to get 100%, okay? Yes, click on them, click on it, and uh, you will have the answers later on. And number eight, it says there, read the following sentence. Vamos a leer las oraciones, dice, y completarlas usando la forma correcta de not allowed. Okay? Dice acá, pay attention to the pronouns. Tenemos acá, you, miren, acá no, no, no sé por qué no sale correcto. Luego, luego verifican ahí por qué no sale correcto. Quizás solamente are que necesitamos, or allow. Tenemos acá he, tenemos I, or boss, the provider, ¿ok? Tienen que usar la forma correcta del B, ya sea el is, perdón, el is o el are, y luego el allow to. Recuerden que lleva, no solo es not allowed. Aquí he puesto solamente not allowed. Recuerden que es así de esta forma. Lleva, lleva el B. Lleva el B. Que significa is o are. En estos casos, bueno, también está el A, ¿verdad? Estos serían tres, los tres. Ahí están. El B puede ser am, is, are. Y el allow to, ok, no olviden, casi va a esa forma. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Esa es tarea número 8. Tarea 9 dice acá, tenemos que usar imperativos. Dice, read the following commands and select the best verb according to context. Ok, hay que leer lo que está acá. Dice, a helmet all the time. Y tenemos que elegir el verbo correcto, ok, a helmet all the time, dice un casco todo el tiempo, aquí dice caminar, 
y bueno, elijan el, el verbo que sea correcto. Ok. Bueno. Igual acá, si lo mismo sería, eligen el verbo correcto, tres también, cuatro y cinco. Ok. Solo eligen el verbo correcto. Y la última que sería este día. Bueno, no, ¿verdad? Y sí y no. Esto que está acá lo que acabamos, lo que acabamos de ver, observen. Lo que acabamos de hacer aquí en la clase. Tenemos cuatro, cuatro ejercicios. Cinco, son cinco. Ok, acá pondremos there is y there are, los primeros tres. Y en la segunda parte, número cuatro y cinco, lo vamos a ordenar. Ok, muy bien. Ahora vamos a regresar acá a sección dos. Y tenemos acá el, la segunda parte, que está el midterm exam. También hay que hacerlo. El midterm exam. Y son cuatro partes. ¿Ok? Observen. Cada parte tiene cinco actividades o cinco preguntas o cinco ejercicios que hay que resolver. La parte uno dice, elige las palabras de secuencia que más, uh, ¿cómo sería así en español? Uh, I don't know. People in Spanish suits. Uh, que más convenga. Adecuada. Ajá, como que la, que la que pegue más. La que mejor queda. <ríe> Ay, no sé cómo se suena en español. Se me olvida. La que mejor convenga, como dijo usted, sí. Okay. Tenemos oración, if you want to pass your exam, you must study very hard. Y elegimos una de las que están acá. Ok. Sí. Siguiente parte, parte 2, dice, instruction use imperatives to give an order, to give instructions or to make invitations. Select the right, the right one for each other. Ok. Vamos a elegir el verbo acá para completar el comando o la orden. Son imperativos, ok, son imperativos. Solo vamos a elegir el verbo para completar la oración, perdón, el comando. El comando. La parte 4 dice, read the sentences, find the mistakes and correct it. Acá vamos a, a leer, de la 1 a la 3, vamos a elegir, perdón, vamos a corregir el error, ok, que está en la oración con there is y there are. Y acá vamos a elegir en la 4 y 5 cuál es plural y cuál es singular. Okay? ¿Cuál es, si, es, uh, si there are es singular o there is, o si el otro es plural. Okay? Eso vamos a hacer. Parte, la última parte sería esta. Dice, read the following sentences and complete, the, complete them using the proper form of not allowed. Okay? Es la parte de not allowed. Entonces son repetidas, creo. No me equivoco. Y esta parte de las cinco, parte de cinco son otros imperativos o comandos que hay que completar. Ok. Yes. There you go. Dime un segundo. Dime un segundo. Okay, what be? I'm sorry. All right, and that's it. Okay, that's it. Today, uh, we well, we have finished uh, unit number two or session number two. Tomorrow, we're going to continue or start with the third unit. Okay, let me take attendance, and uh, we will be free to go. Let's go, Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Andy Ernesto Martinez. Present. Yes. Brian David Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present. Present teacher. I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you. Christian Alexander Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Christian. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thank you, Diana Yamilet Maravilla. 
present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Heriberto Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Ismael Ernesto Boyat. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. Present teacher. Thanks. Marvin Present. Jose Cortez. Present. Present. Thank you, Paola. No, sorry. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Paola Geraldine Santa Maria. I'm here. Thank you, Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Thank you, Sara Ives Mendoza de Flores. I'm not Sara. No, Sandra, yeah. Sandra, I'm sorry. Sandra, I'm sorry. Sandra, I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, Sara, Raquel, Salazar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Veronica, Lisa Portillo. Present And Jancy, Andrea, Solortano. Sorry, guys. All right, people, thank you very much for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Take care, have a good night, and well, rest, okay? Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Except if I don't go. Your teacher. Thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>
dice, pronunciation of ED. The pronunciation of words ending in ED depends on the final consonant sound. Ok, depende en el sonido final de la consonante. There are three ways to pronounce ED. Hay tres formas de pronunciarlo. Ok, este que está acá, id, id, listen, id, wanted, id, wanted, wanted, wanted. needed, needed, id, id, at the end. Ok, look, t, t, that one is t, t, at the end. Suena así, t, t, at the end. Helped, helped, Help. looked, looked. Y esta, esta que está acá es with D. Suena de esta forma. D, 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 D. Cold. 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 Yes. Yes. Vamos a ver acá. Espérenme. Pero no, aquí, aquí no aparece la, la pronunciación. Bueno. Words. Palabras que concluyan. Observa acá. Que concluyan en T y en D. Según esto, se pronuncia de esta forma. D. D. They eat, eat, wanted, wanted, and needed. Then we think of another one. It can be the end there. Sorry, teacher. No recuerdo otra palabra que termine en el. Bueno, esta, esta está bien, está bien, bien. Porta la explicación acá. I have an idea, but when I pronounce, 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 pronounce the, the words, eh, me trago al, al pronunciarlo. <laughs> no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Oh, I, I, I get stuck. Get stuck. I get stuck. Or I frozen. I freeze. Yeah, yeah. Hasta la aquí está, mi gente buscaba. Ya le muestro, espérenme. We have three minutes, don't worry. Tenemos okay. Tres Me pasa más que todo con la forma del pasado. Sí, sí. Es la, un poco la más compleja. Se borra la marca ya, voy. vemos que tenemos este listado. Miro. Está cargando eso. Pronunciation of ED. Lo puede ver, pero no puede ver a usted. A usted no lo veo. <laughs> Una vez más. Yeah, I, I can see. Bueno, acá está. Observe. Pronunciation of D tenemos acá muchas palabras. Dice que se pronuncia con T, con t, 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 con t, t. Dice, final ED. Final ED is pronounced as t. After verbs ending in voiceless sounds, except T. Tenemos cook, dance, type, laugh, skate, punish, and snatch. Snatch, ok, snatch. A walk, miss, tenemos un montón. Ok, tenemos un montón acá. Que concluyen en K, mire, terminan en K, se pronuncia con T. Cook, walk, talk, con T. 
Es un, el sonido de S, dance, 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 mist, practice, practice. Y terminan en P, type, typed, typed. Hope, hoped. Help, helped. Y si estamos aquí con lo demás, ok. En F, en el sonido de. Se llama. Se llama Z este, este sonido, que es con, con, con Z. Scathed. Acá está. Scathed. Rest. And teeth. Teeth. Se terminan en sh. Punished. Washed. And flushed. Se terminan en sh. Snatched. Watched. And switched. Ahora, las cuales se dicen con D. Dice, final ED is pronounced as D, D after verbs in ending in voiced sounds, including vowel sounds. Mira acá. Tenemos el listado que terminan en B, lived, waved, arrived. Que terminan en M, harmed, confirmed, performed, con D. Que terminan en N, fond, signed, clean. Y tenemos el listado acá, el L, R, de ch. Ch changed, ch, ch. sonido de ch. ch, judged, encouraged, es encouraged, judged, tenemos acá abajo también la siguiente, el último, que termina, dice acá, en, en T o en D, por ejemplo, T, voted, waited, wanted, minded, sounded, demanded, yes, What we can do is I can send you this picture. I can send you this picture. Yeah, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share this picture in the WhatsApp group right now. You can okay. get it from there. In the Twitter group. In the group of the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ya la he compartido. Okay, thank you, teacher. Do you have any more questions, Ismael? Mm, not by the moment. Okay, that's okay. Well, thank you, Ismael, for staying in the last minutes. I really appreciate your effort. And well, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Good night. All right, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.